In this problem, we're given a trapezoid and some of the lengths of some of the segments, and we're told to find the area. So let's study the diagram for just a minute. We have a length of 7 right there, a length of 9.6 there. Well, look, if that's 9.6, then this piece up top is 9.6. Let's go ahead and write that in, 9.6 up there. This is 4.8, and this is 8.0. And we don't know the height. It's just given h, but look, this is the height here. That's going to be the same as the height over here. So let's write h. And that's going to be a right angle right there. So we have a right triangle right here. And look at that. A right triangle, we know two of the sides. We can find the third. So let's think about that right triangle right there. I know that, that h squared plus 4.8 squared will equal 8 squared. So let's write that. The Pythagorean theorem. h squared plus 4.8 squared equals 8.0 squared. Then subtract 4.8 squared from each side. And we get 8h squared is 8 squared minus 4.8 squared. I've basically just taken that and rearranged it algebraically. And let's get some numbers in there. 8 squared is 64 minus 4.8 squared, which is 23.04. So h squared, that works out to 40.96. So h then is the square root of 40.96. And that works out reasonably well to 6.4. So that's my height, 6.4. Let's write that in. Okay, that's the height here or here. And now that we know the height, we can find the area. The area will be the average of the bases times the height. So let's look at this base down here. That's going to be the sum of those, those three little pieces. So let's, let's call that base B. And I'll say that B is 7 plus 9.6 plus 4.8. That works out to 21.4. And then the area will be the average of the bases. That's going to be 9.6 plus 21.4 divided by 2. Times 6.4. because that's the height, 6.4. And from there, it's just a matter of computation. You add those numbers up, divide by 2, multiply by the height, and it comes out to 99.2.